Uh, I want to give a, a shout out to the advice show. Um, they brought an issue uh, back to my attention uh, that I had previously done a video on and it basically is regarding the similarities between uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and Donald Trump and Israel and the United States. Donald Trump is a racist, so is Benjamin Netanyahu. Obviously, Donald Trump has made uh, racist uh, statements or given support to various racist uh, white supremacist groups in the United States. And uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has made uh, various statements uh, racist statements specifically against uh, our former president uh, Barack Obama and the policies that uh, he is uh, pursuing in Israel uh, mirror the same policies and uh, even uh, more so uh, in Israel. I had done a video previously regarding uh, Israeli uh, genocide against uh, black African people, um, and I don't want to go back in and dig it out, but basically it uh, goes to uh, black women, and they're Jewish uh, black women in Israel being um, offered abortions, and these are... Um, medical abortions, um, using uh, various drugs that uh, have the uh, side effect of causing infertility. Now, uh, the same uh, procedures are not offered to the uh, white Jewish uh, women in the uh, state of Israel. And as a matter of fact, Israel is one of the uh, countries that is definitely anti-abortion as far as their Jewish white population is concerned. But they don't take the uh, same uh, trek when it comes to uh, black uh, people living within their country as far as abortions are concerned. And they are seeking to, uh, uh, hate to say it, but cull the herd of black people in Israel. But that was a video I did a long time ago. This particular uh, video deals with Israelis deporting African asylum seekers from Eritrea and the uh, Sudan. Now, I'm going to read you this particular uh, story, and this uh, video may uh, go a while, but it's something that we need to be made aware of that Israel is no friend to the uh, black person uh, living in Israel either legally or illegally. Israel has started issuing deportation notices to African asylum seekers from Eritrea and uh, Sudan. I think I'm butchering Eritrea's name. Um, on Sunday, the first wave of notices were distributed to men who are in the country without families, the Israeli Daily Haaretz Her reported. The 20,000 people who are now not held in the country's open detention facility will be expected to leave within 60 days or risk being imprisoned indefinitely. According to Haaretz, the refugees will be asked to either leave for Rwanda or back to their home countries. Israeli officials have said the decision to refrain from forcibly deporting parents, women and children will likely change in the future. Now, uh, they had uh, been going through this program for approximately the last five years, but they had indicated when they uh, initially put this deportation program into effect that it would not uh, be used against elderly people, women, and children. But as this uh, article is stating, um, that's going to change, and they're going to start uh, deporting uh, women and children as well. 
In December, the Israeli parliament passed the bill authorizing the government to force asylum seekers out of the country. During visits to detention centers, government representatives provided refugees with a letter that listed Rwanda and on a previous occasion, uh, Uganda to relocate to. Now, that, um, they had to fix that because Uganda came out and stated that they had no agreement to <coughs> excuse me, take in uh, refugees from Israel, though Israel was uh, touting uh, that uh, fact uh, for a long time. The letter states, we would like to inform you that the state of Israel has signed agreements allowing you to leave Israel for a safe third country that will absorb you and give you a residency visa that will allow you to work in that country and promises not to remove you to your country of origin, the letter read, according to Haaretz. Shortly after Rwanda and Uganda rejected claims of signing a controversial deal to take in African immigrants from the country. So that means that that's a lie and neither country uh, has agreed to take uh, the refugees in. Currently, Israel is home to about 40,000 asylum seekers according to government figures. That includes 27,500 Eurasians and 7,800 Sudanese asylum seekers the UN Refugee Agency has reported. Most asylum seekers in Israel are from Sudan and Eritrea who arrived over the last 10 years from neighboring Egypt. Most have fled war, torture, and other mistreatment. Between December 2013 and June 2017, about 4,000 Sudanese and Eritrean asylum seekers were deported under Israel's voluntary deportation program to Rwanda and Uganda. Meanwhile, Holat, a detention center that houses some of the asylum seekers in the country's southern Negev uh, desert is scheduled to close down in six weeks. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Now, this information is coming from Al Jazeera, and from everything that I've been able to ascertain from research on Al Jazeera, um, it's pretty even-handed. It's not, from what I can determine, um, a, a fake news site. Um, it's based out of Qatar and was formerly owned by uh, Al Gore um, before he sold it uh, when he thought he was going to become president of the United States. Now, there are some other uh, stories um, that uh, Al Jazeera is uh, featuring. Um, which it basically confirms the fact that refugees are being sent, whether it's legally or illegally, to Uganda and Rwanda. And um, I urge you to uh, do your own research if uh, for some reason you believe that uh, the stories are, um, let's say, fake news. But Israel has camps within Israel, as I stated and as the article stated, where they are holding uh, refugees uh, for deportation, just like uh, the United States now has uh, detention centers that it's uh, holding um, quote-unquote uh, illegal uh, residents or migrants uh, for deportation out of this country. So, folks, Israel is no friend uh, to black people. And uh, it's a damn shame that, number one, they are practicing, in my opinion, genocide against uh, black Africans, even if they are of uh, Jewish heritage. But uh, uh, number two, um, just as uh, the uh, Israelis were turned away uh, from uh, this country uh, before and during World War II uh, to this country's eternal shame, Israel is now, in fact, doing the same thing with black African immigrants. So, again, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the Israelis are, in my opinion, just as or more racist than uh, the uh, powers that be uh, in this country. Here's another article where um, refugees are uh, begging to be allowed to work in order to survive, but Israel is not allowing it. 
see if I can get this in here. Oh, there we go. A policy of deference keeps 20,000 African refugees in Israel in legal limbo, and they just want to work in order to make enough money for them, you know, for them to survive. Here's another article, rallies against Israel's refugee removal plan expected. And there you see, um, African uh, asylum seekers in Israel uh, basically uh, rallying, you know, against the, uh, and I call it the uh, racist uh, government of Israel, showing that as uh, Americans were in the past having to keep their mouths shut and in chains. Mind you of slavery much in this country, anyone? Israel is not a place for a refugee, especially if you're black. Netanyahu is a racist, plain and simple. And uh, for black people in this country to give any kind of support to the nation of Israel, as long as this guy is running it, and until someone new comes in and shows a definite uh, different direction as far as its treatment of uh, black uh, Jews and refugees, uh, we need to make sure that uh, our voices are heard as far as pushing back against the nation of Israel and all of the support that the United States gives to them. It reminds me of the support that uh, the United States gave to the apartheid country of South Africa until, uh, I believe it was uh, Bobby Kennedy, uh, went into the country and spoke out against it. So. The more they claim that things have changed, the more that I see that things have remained the same. And uh, racism is running rampant, not only here in America, but uh, in Israel as well. We need to raise our voices against this, especially when uh, the Israel's, Israelis uh, will swear that uh, never forget is something that's uh, basically imprinted in their DNA. Well, we need to do the same thing as far as this situation is concerned. We should never forget about what uh, the Israelis are doing to our black brothers and sisters in Africa and what America basically is doing to us.